I'm Josh, and welcome back to Skyrim. Last time we rampaged through the Eastern Rift, Northeastern Rift. Now we're gonna get a dog and let him live here. Hey! Wanna come with me? Come on. And what are these? If you know any true sons and daughters. Okay, they're storm cloaks. Okay. Doggy. Okay, that's his ID, just in case. Hi. Uh-huh. Any thoughts? No. My mind is as blank as your expression right now. Uh, no offense. Main character disease. What is on your mind? Me. Okay. Let's destroy this beacon. And then use the compass to teleport back to our safe house. So, uh, travel to safe house. <laughs> yes. Return way mark? Nah. Okay. Thus ends the dark, I guess. Hey, Miko. Tweak options. Um, um, actions. Actions. Uh, dismiss, but hang out here. And now I have a dog here. Have fun. Hello. So, you have attained full Dragonborn status. Being shouted at by a group of old men has never been so rewarding. Can I ask you something? Sure. Um... Let's talk about... Hmm. Tell me more about your past. My brother and I never knew our real parents. We were found abandoned in a smelly shack by a soldier on his way to battle. Hmm. We melted his heart with our fuzzy little faces, and he carried us to the nearest town. He deposited us at an orphanage, and that is where we spent most of our childhood. I see. Tell me, tell me more. My brother and I were adopted by a couple of retired assassins. I guess the orphanage did not do a family background check. Sounds familiar. You must have had a very interesting childhood. Mine was perhaps a little more unconventional than most, but I suppose all childhoods are interesting to some degree. Mm. My parents provided me with love and encouragement. Apart from the nightly training sessions, we were a normal family. I see. Thank you. If you need anything else, just ask. Alright. I want to show something. Not just to Inigo, but to you, dear viewer. I have been cultivating some plants in the back. Oh yeah. Check it out. Whole bunch of plants. So what am I going to do now? Uh, hold on. Ramirez Rot. There's already Ramirez Rot over there. Clear planter. Uh, white caps over there. Okay. Uh, white caps over here. Clear planter. What else? Okay, blister wart. I think I've already got blister wart over here. Yes, I do. And the other. Fly Manita. Yep. Clear planter. I may have messed up a few things here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, junipers. These are all the things I can plant so far. You can't really seem to be able to harvest these. Whatever. Thistles and lavender, imp stool and canis root, dragon's tongue, glowing mushroom, death bell, nightshade, yada yada yada. Like it, now that's 
Yay! Okay, spiky grass, jazz bay. More it's happened now a lot. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to quickly go back into the safe house, and then I'm going to go to the hall of natural natural stuff. Yeah, let's check if my dead guy's still here. Yeah, he is. Okay. Uh, let's go to the hall of natural sciences or something. Yeah, Gallery of Natural Science, that's the one. And I'm going to plant some flowers here. Specifically, Dragonstone, yes. And, um, Scaly Fazolia? Flotia, whatever. A lot of oh, this other stuff, anyway. Uh, Mountain Flower. Purple mountain flower and red mountain flower. Flower of red mountain. <laughs> no. Lavender. Just fill the place in a bit, you know? Uh, what was this one again? Let's do... Let's do a, a, a fungus. Yeah, sure. Let's do a grass pod. Sure. And let's do some jazz bait. And some snowberries. Oh, those can't be planted. Okay, let's do some glowing mushrooms then. Sure. This should look a lot prettier soon. Also, some stuff in a jar. Yay! As well as a few, um, fairies. Oh yeah. Things are starting to look cool. <laughs> Norslurm, Vorslurm, Sorgul. I guess those are for specific beasts. My gemstone displays are also filling up nice. Hmm. And my greenery displays. Okay. Yeah, these are also all filled up. Aryan, I wanted to talk to you. Hi. Ah, hero. I am so glad you've stopped by. Yes. I want to thank you for the honor of curing mm -hmm. this fantastic collection you've amassed. It is the envy of every rarity collector across all of Tamriel. Okay. The museum is well on its way to being filled, and I want to commemorate our achievement together. Okay. This is the Sword of the Ancient Tongues. I had this ancient blade restored by Yorlin Greymate, possibly his greatest work. Yes. The blade has massive power, but will only be able to be unlocked by the Dragonborn. All right. Use it with pride, my friend. You will be hard-pressed to find a better blade. This will be the last sword I ever wield. Yes. Call of the Dragonborn added. Reduces the cooldown on all shouts by 50%. Oh yes. I'm gonna see what it takes to upgrade this thing. Move to museum location. Safe house. And I also want a big two-hander. Probably Dragonbone. Uh, for to train my two-handed skill. And I'm not going to enchant either of these, so I can use Elemental Fury. I do not want to spend a Dragon Soul on this, just to check it out. Hmm. Two stealing and a Quicksilver. Eh, I could do that. I also need a Dragon Bone Greatsword. Actually, a uh, type of Greatsword. What's the best type of Greatsword? Uh, type. Staff, Battle Axe, Bow, Dagger, Greatsword. Yeah, and then damage, my friend. Damage. Ebony Trident. Come on, Josh. Greatsword. Honed Silver Longsword. What's no? Dragon Greatsword, then. Honed Silver Longsword is the best. Ah, uh, interesting, because that... <laughs> I guess that's because I'm a vampire, it shows double damage to me? I don't know. 
dragon bone great sword oh yeah 35 damage still hone silver sounds fun to me Nah, i want a dragon bone great sword dragon steel then dragon steel great sword -hoo -hoo. it's significantly weaker than the dragon bone one so no dachi no 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 dachi Silver Trident. Now that looks unique. I want to try that for a two-hander. So I need a silver ingot, four steel ingots, and two leather strips. Silver ingot, four steel ingots. Leather strips. Cool. Now is I'm gonna. This where you plan your adventures? Yes, I'm going to significantly upgrade both of these toys. Uh, trident. Silver trident. Yep. Now let's see. Uh, no. The penultimate judgment is going in a box somewhere. The Sword of Ancient Tongues is two steel ingots and a quicksilver ingot and one regular silver ingot. Okay. Steel, quicksilver, silver. Okay, I need my smithing stuff now. I don't need to enchant this stuff, so that's going to make it a little bit easier. Uh, clothing. Wardrobe, uh, outfit, change outfit, yes. Uh, work attire, smithing attire. Yep, yeah, that's my L3 stuff. L3, all set. Oh yeah. Let's pray for a sec. Cool. Uh, search ingredients. Um, what's it called again? Uh, smithing. That's. Uh, hmm. Blister wart and a glowing mushroom. I think I already had each of those. <laughs> Whatever. Fortify smithing. Oh, I didn't have a blister wart. And use. Let's try this. Yeah, let's spend the dragon souls to do it. Select Sword of the Ancient Tongues, 680 damage. I mean, it's better than a thousand damage because that would be overpowered. 610 damage, that's also quite nice. Let's double check. Um. Penultimate Judgment's gonna th be thrown in a box. Sword of Ancient Tongues, 68 damage. What? No, 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 no. Oh, they're not activated. That's interesting. Because it was, I was, I wore them with my with my uh, spell. I didn't activate anything. Okay. Load safe house. Yes. I'll have to make another potion. Interesting. Still, I don't want a sword that does like a thousand damage. I mean, I keep... Eh. He says. I want that for the two-hander, but not for the... Uh, hmm. Okay. Let's re-equip all, all our L3 stuff. This should help. Oh yeah. And let's click grab a blister wart. And craft something. 
such as a sword fish smithing potion. That's better. Yep. Again, if the Sword of Ancient Tongues is too strong, I'll fix it. Spend a Dragon Soul, yes. Silver Trident, now that's better. 631. I'm hoping it's just 631, not 6000 or something. Yeah, it's good. 368 and then... Sword of Ancient Tongues 631 instead of this this uh, ultimate weapon of penultimate judgment doing 6,000... Uh, one doing uh, 1,600 damage. I'm content with this. Call of the Dragonborn. Oh, yeah. So you are going to be favorited to this group. And this group, I want to... Uh, save equip state. Yep. Um, I, I still got Destro equipped. I could change that later. Because this thing's not getting enchanted. Speaking of, Z. Breastplate, collar, cloak, and necklace, just in case. Gauntlet's helm, illusion, rest of the ring on the left side. And now also have a. A Silver Trident Legendary. Let's favorite that as well. Just in case, you know? And this Sword of Ancient Tongues, can I make a replica of it? Can I make a replica of the Sword of Ancient Tongues? Yes, I can. I need Steel and Quicksilver, just one of each. First, though, let's dump our L3 crap. Hey, dog. Okay. Frame rate. I didn't find my L3 circlet there. Still, that somewhat reduced the power of my enchantments, which is probably a good thing. I'm gonna go to town with my two-handed stuff eventually, but, uh, hold on a second. Trident. Okay, silver trident. Now, let's shout with, uh... Not Annihilate. Come on, Josh, you know this. <sighs> Elemental Fury, and yes, I'm also favoriting that now. Oh, yes. That could be useful for training my two-handed skill. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, calm down, Josh. Um, Steel and Quicksilver, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oof! Whoop. That's something I did not want to do. Cool. I'm gonna dump my uh, spare alchemy stuff that I just got in my dumping chest. And the Sword of Ancient Times is gonna be hung up in the Hall of Heroes, and then we are leaving. We're going back to where we started off. How's the money looking? Yeah, I've already emptied that today. Sword of Ancient Tongues, the ultimate blade. I also kind of need to check the um, Explorer's Guild, because I think I've got all of the people now. So we might be able to start off an expedition. Though I'm not so sure about that. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's the bear thing. The Helm of Arm Bear Claw. Um, where's the ultimate equipment? No, no, no. I remember seeing it around here somewhere. And being really hype about it. Can I display it yet? 
I guess I can ask the machine. <laughs> Sword of Ancient Tongues replica. Nice. Uh, display items? Yes. Zero items displayed, in which case it's staying in there. It'll eventually be displayable. For, if nothing else, for the reason that I can make a replica of it. Okay, where am I going next? The Explorers. Yeah, new displays one. Nice! Let's get out of here. I wanted to make some archaeological stuff, but I'll do that some other time. Guys? Ah, Guildmaster. Glad you stopped by. I have some exciting news. Good timing. We've just about made all the arrangements we need in order to start an excavation of Windcaller Wind Pass. Windcaller Pass. I have the team assembled and everyone's roles aside. So I just need your okay to get underway. Uh, Arlen sure. Is even planning on coming along to help me identify any of the findings. I could certainly use your help as well. Sure. As I have no idea what to expect inside. I'm the combat guy. Sounds like a plan to me. Great, great. Well, we will set up camp at the north foot of the Great Mountain, outside of the North Passage. Okay. From what Avram at the museum has said, there is a stone slab blocking the main passage inside. But I'm sure we can manage to free it. Got it. And we'll certainly need your help dealing with unexpected difficulties inside. Gods only know what could be in there. All right. We'll head out immediately and see you there. Oh, Guildmaster, Latoria has a gift. For Hold on. Latoria yes. is so happy what is to hear it? stories from the other explorers and the oh. places they have. Fantastic thing. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hello. What can Latoria hold on. Do for you, Guildmaster? Uh, anything new happening? Can't click that. Okay. All right then. Okay. Anything interesting? Uh, yes, Guildmaster. In fact, Latoria does have something interesting to share. Okay. Latoria was with Professor Marassi the other day while he investigated a Nordic burial ruin, and she discovered a lost incantation. Okay. Using it on ruined, unreadable books reverses their age so they can be once again legible. Interesting. It only works briefly, so Latoria can only transcribe a page or two before the book turns to ash. Okay. But if you bring enough ruined books, Latoria could piece together a full text from many ruined copies. Indeed. How many books would it take? Latoria thinks about 20 at a time should suffice. But bring her all you can find, and Latoria will give you a copy of whatever she finds. Yes. What exactly could you uncover from this? Who is to know? Be exciting to find out, no? Alright. What do you think? Sure. Sounds like a plan. I'll bring you some broken books. <laughs> Excellent. Latoria eagerly awaits your return. Happy hunting. Oh great, they already left. Oh no, he, he, he didn't left. Greetings, Guildmaster! Anything new happening? Ah, yes. I'm glad you stopped by. With as much work as we have cut out for us in exploring every corner of Skyrim, I thought that it would make sense if we didn't have to travel all the way back to Solitude between each venture. That makes sense. So I was thinking we could establish a number of field stations in centralized locations across Skyrim. Places we could rest, research, and resupply. Yes. Sort of R and R and R. Ah, <laughs> oh, you get the idea. We're not pirates, but okay. Good. Well then, I'll need 100 units of lumber, 40 blocks of stone, and about 20 slabs of clay for each of the three stations I have in mind. I'll make sure to have that. This first station is a bit off the beaten path. It will be on a cliff to the south of Sarhol, and a stone's throw away from Arftan as well. Ah, near I have Winterhold. already spoken to Tolfdir, and he is quite excited about this venture. He has also seen to it that the Jarl's tax for the land was paid. Interesting. Now we just have to build the building. If you wouldn't mind gathering the supplies for the first station, while I make the appropriate arrangement with the Jarls, should be done in a few days. Latoria greets you. Okay, so branching out. Build the northern field station. I need clay, lumber, and stone blocks. Windcaller pass. Okay, uh, books, right? 
uh, deep storage. One thing at a time. Burn books. Got some ruined books for you. Good, good. It will take some time to decipher things. Come back tomorrow and Notoria will let you know what she has done. Interesting. Okay, that's good. Uh, I need to know if I have enough lumber and other stuff. No, no, I don't have a job for you right now. Yeah, I think the upstairs is where I need to get... Eh. Thank you. No! I think the glitch is that she wanted to give me an Explorer's Guild ring. But that didn't work. Damn. Uh, I might have to redo this entire thing. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna have to redo this entire thing. So, I'll see you guys in a second when I've cut the video. Or if this is a 20 minute video already, thanks for watching. See you next time.